Hate to break it to you, but your brand is not what you tell your audience that it is. Your brand is what your audience feels it is through cumulative experiences. Your brand should be a practice, don't preach kind of approach. Every brand interaction registers in your audience's mind and contributes to their overall experience of the brand. It's a sum that's greater than the whole of its parts kind of situation. That said, you can still evoke the desired feelings towards your brand by clearly defining your brand narrative, your overarching story, and then weaving together various smaller stories to support that narrative. Think of your brand narrative as the epic saga, and your brand stories are like the side quests that thicken the plot. In her seminal work, Whoever Tells the Best Story Wins, Annette Simmons outlines six crucial brand story types. Naturally, the first one is called the introduction story. This story type is all about sharing the heart and soul of your brand, its dreams, its values, its rich history. The purpose is to establish a genuine connection from the onset. An introduction story should explain who you are, share your brand's dreams, goals, accomplishments, failures, motivations, values, or history, and establish connections with strangers to build trust with them. Next, we have the identification story type. This is not just about your brand identity, but more importantly, how your audience identifies with your brand. This is about your brand's why. And to tell this story, you should communicate your purpose to replace any sort of suspicion with trust. You gotta demonstrate transparency and fairness on behalf of your brand, and you should showcase your passion for your unique cause. Now, the education story is about transforming perspectives, showcasing how meaningful change can lead to profound results. Education stories aim to guide your audience towards a new understanding. Your education videos should create a transformative experience. They should reveal how changing a perspective can actually be the first step toward meaningful results. They should also illustrate different situations like best or worst case scenarios, kind of like what I'm doing right now. Now the vision story is all about aspiration. To motivate your audience to change their behavior, you gotta encourage them to feel hope or happiness. You should convince them that their hard work and sacrifice are worth the effort, and you have to link their actions to a specific valuable and worthy outcome. That's a great segue. Through the action story, we reinforce values that we want the audience to demonstrate or think about. We demonstrate positive qualities like integrity, compassion, and commitment. And we also highlight undesirable attributes that we're not a fan of. Lastly, but not least, we've been building up anticipation for the anticipation story. This one's all about empathizing with your audience to address objections, suspicions, and questions before they come up. You anticipate your audience's point of view and deal with their unspoken concerns. You also validate their perspectives or their worries, showing that you're on their side and you really get what they're feeling. These six brand story types can be effectively expressed through any and all of the content that your brand owns. However, you won't be surprised to hear that at Prolex Media, we're all about that video. There's just nothing as dynamic, immersive, and engaging as video storytelling, at least for now. We're looking at you, VR. If you have any compelling video examples of the above story types, please share them in the comments below. We always love sharing inspiration around. We hope you find this content useful and inspiring for your brand storytelling journey.